The major finding is that, on the one hand, uh, Latin American countries over the past 15 years, they have adopted very different development narratives, development strategies, with some countries exposing orthodox policies and other uh, trying alternative development strategies under the different variants of Buen Vivir. And the major findings is that surprisingly up to these days, the outcomes in terms of <clears throat> environmental degradation related to extraction of minerals and oil, or the major findings in terms of outcomes in terms of poverty reduction, inequality reduction, and uh, uh, the question of indigenous people's rights is surprisingly similar if we go in countries which have uh, adopted orthodox policies or other countries which have exposed a more radical alternative strategies. So this is a surprising finding and we are still struggling to understand why. I think the major uh, implication for policymakers is that for those policymakers who adopt a very different non-traditional uh, pathway to development, it is extremely difficult to implement in practice policies that make a real difference, especially when it comes to ecological conservation and when it comes to advancing rights of peoples. And this takes more than courage, but it takes also a bit of chance. And I think that when we see the prices of commodities going down, it becomes very difficult to maintain such policies.